Hello friends, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Dr. Rajiv Shekhar. You are here to learn about research. Today, in the line of research, I have come up with the another interesting video that will help you to scale up your research into the next level. Come, let's get started. So, you will be learning today what is Web of Science ID, that is research ID for researchers. Why is it needed? Earlier, I was talking about uh, the Scopus ID generation and the Google Scholar ID generation, how to search the Google Scholar and how to search in the Scopus. Why is it essential? I have done already uh, videos on, on those things and you could have watched. Otherwise, let me give you the link in the uh, uh, in this same video. You can go to the link and you can watch it. Okay. Before I start, very importantly, you have to watch the entire video so that you'll be able to understand. In case if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that when I post my next video, you will get immediate notification. Come. What is Web of Science ID and why, it, why is it needed? First thing you need to know what is Web of Science. It's very simple. Web of Science is a website. It, it is a subscription-based website. It gives the information about the SCI, Science Citation Indexed Journal and, and other indexed journal. So it gives about the citation index. Whereas in the, if you take the Scopus, it will not give only the citation index, it will give you the abstract and the other, what do you call, uh, bibliography. Whereas Web of Science, it gives citation index. So it generally, it is subscri subscription based website. It provides you a lot of citation, especially high quality citation like Science Citation Index. So, very simple. It is a website like a, 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 a database what you have seen in the Scopus. I will be showing with the original website also. What is SCI? See, Web of Science is the website which will be giving the detail about SCI that is Science Citation Index. So, there are so many index citation indexes are there in which science citation index is very dominant in the web of science uh, or database that is in that website so the web of science is a website in which you will be seeing the sci that is science citation index details will be available in the uh, that particular web of science website and what is thomson and writer thomson and writers people say that you have to publish in thomson and writer See, Thomson Writers is the company which owned the Web of Science. That is, previously uh, it was a part of, now it is MJT Clarivatrix, Clari, Clari but previously it is with the Thomson and Writers. It's a company owned by uh, the Web of Science, uh, SCI, it was owned by Thomson and Writers. So that's why people, vice versa, they'll say that Web of Science Journal or SCI Journal and Thomson and Writers all are, all are no, they are finding out the same only. And what are the differences between Scopus and the SCI? That is Science Citation Index, and that means it is uh, it is it is what you call indexed in the Web of Science. See, the basically the Scopus and the SCI both are uh, uh, no quality journal no databases. It indexes the journal, whereas Scopus will have the wide range of journals. Whereas SCI has very limited uh, journals only and the process of getting indexed in SCI is bit tough and uh, it, 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 it requires a lot of factors to be, you know, meet, uh, to be met uh, to get into the index in SCI. Whereas Scopus comparatively, it may, it is also, it requires a lot of things you have to do. Go ahead. But comparatively, it is less than what uh, SCI requires. So in, in the broader sense, SCA seems to be very high quality, whereas Scopus comparatively little less. You can't say that it is not quality, it is a little less. Because the indexing process is very difficult. The citation is very high and they have only and another important difference. SCA has only limited journals, whereas Scopus it has more journals. All Scopus journals are Web of Science Journal also, that is ACI journals, majority of the time. But not all 
Scopus journal, it cannot be a web of science journal, but all web of science journal can be the Scopus journal because it is of high quality. All web of science paper is high quality. Obviously, you will find the same thing in the Scopus also. But not all Scopus journals are web of science because only certain Scopus journals are in web of science, not everything. So you can understand the difference between the quality. And the number of journals, if you if you look at the number of journals also, as I already told you, uh, Science Citation Index has a less number, uh, whereas the Scopus has a, it has a huge, uh, comparatively huge number. And how to create a Web of Science Researcher ID? See, you have already, I, I was talking in the previous video about how to create RCIT ID. Then previously I, have, I was talking about the, in the, the during that uh, Scopus video, uh, video I was talking about how to search the journal in a Scopus and how to create Scopus ID also. And in the Google Scholar, I was talking about the Google Scholar profile creation. Similarly, if you want to get the publication, if you publish a lot of paper in Web of Science, you need to have Web of Science Researcher ID. The Researcher ID, you know very well that it is a common platform where the ID, once you give the ID, how you give Archer ID. Similarly, if you give Web of Science ID automatically, the others will be able to understand your research potential. They will be able to check it clearly. Got the point. And how to create this Web of Science Research ID? For that, you need to go to the Publons. That's a, another website. It is owned by uh, the uh, MJT Clarivatix. That is Thompson Writer. You have to go to that uh, particular website and you have to create Publon ID. And you can do that thing. Now, let me show you how to create that thing. Come, let's go. See, what you have to, if you want to create the uh, Web of Science Researcher ID, you can't directly create in that Web of Science website. For that, you need to come to the publons.com. That is, you have to go, go, go to come to this website. Here, you have to simply, uh, you have to give your as usual email ID and you have to create a password. And if you are a first timer, you have to register. That's why you have to give email ID and password. And it will direct you to the, uh, uh, the next website. And there will be some... Confirmation will come to a mail as usually you have to activate. Then you will be, it will take you to the Poplon, Pop, Poplon's, uh, what you call the home page. It will ask you to uh, connect to the already published uh, Web of Science papers. In case if you do not have the paper, you have, a, you have to have a separate link. There is a web, I will be sharing you later. Using that thing, you can create uh, your Web of Science Researcher ID. Otherwise, if you have paper, simply you have to link it. That's it. Let me show you my ID. Look at that. This I already have created. You can see that. Look at that. Uh, so in here, here I have got the Web of Science researcher, researcher ID. It is there. But if you are a first timer, once you create it, you will not get a Web of Science, Web of Science Researcher ID immediately. Because Publons will be allotting the Researcher ID once in every 24 hours. Because all those things are accumulated once in a day, uh, once in 24s, it will automatically allot the ID based on the particular registration. For that, here as you are seeing that Web of Science Researcher ID, if you are a first timer, it will ask you please tie your uh, uh, ID with the other publication that is Scopus and the RZ ID. So here you have to click the link, you have to tie means you have to connect with your previous uh, published research paper. Once you connect it, after you have to wait for 24 hours, then you will be allotted the ID. Then once the ID is allotted, you will get an email as well as once you come back to the Poplon uh, login and you can see this, this is the ID. That will be three digit, sorry, eight digit number and three, three alphabet. It will be there in the combination of this thing. You will be able to see this thing. Got it. And what are the other options you have the Poplons? See, in case you are a reviewer in the journal, high quality journal, all your review with uh, peer reviews can be saved here. You can, as usual, you can create your public profile. You can create, you know, in case you can track your citation complete. In, in, if you have published a paper in Web of Science, there are so many uh, citations. In, similarly, you'll be able to track in the Scopus citation, the Scopus website. Web of Science citation, you can track in this Poplon website. Uh, the entire thing will be able to track it. And... Uh, because, uh, see, look at there, uh, these are the other options. You can simply explore. You have a, a Web of Science Academy community, scored, scored publication journal, and everything is there. You will be able to check it. 
So now, if you want to know about your publication, look at that I am clicking the publication. So once uh, you click the publication, because already I have linked it, so all my web of science journal publication will appear here. Uh, if you are a first timer, it may not come to you. For a first timer, it may not come to you. Sorry, it, uh, yeah, it is it is logged out. And just let me log in with my because already it is two things are there. That's the reason. So it, it is logging. Let it log in. So once you go there, go there automatically. You were uh, what you call downloaded or uh, connected. All the web of science papers will be available there. And if you have a citation, also you can see the citation. That once you create Bublon ID, then in the left panel you can check everything and you can do the things. So the web of uh, science researcher ID is also very essential when you try to publish in a high quality journals and certain uh, university they'll ask you the web of science researcher id when you apply for the funded project also so be careful you have to do that thing once it load i'll show you now come back to the how to search the journal see for the web of science journal see in the scopus journal you go to the www.scopus.com for web of science group you, you will not go to any web of science.com instead instead that you will have MJL, that is Master Journal List, Clarivate.com. You have to go to this website, MJL, Clarivate.com. If you go, go to this website, you will get this particular page. Here I have already uh, logged in. So you, if you click the search journal and you will get this window panel. Here, you, if you type anything, you will get a, a I am I'm typing as English, so immediately I will get the complete list of web of science journals in English. In the Scopus, you will get to know all the Scopus indexed journal in the Scopus database. Here, you will get a web of science indexed, uh, that is SEA indexed journal you will get here. Look at there, all the journal name, 3L, Arab World English Journal, everything. And if you uh, just click this, it will go to the profile. Uh, that is, uh, it will go to the profile page of that particular uh, journal and you can see that Bandit, the first published in 1991, of four issues per year, it is published uh, from uh, Malaysia and you will get a complete detail as usual and in section other everything you can see the things. So here and one more thing in case you want to un identify any journal, for example, uh, uh, you have let me put as ESP. This is the topic. I am trying to check is there any journal available based on ESP. And look at there. There are 29 results. Yeah. Biomed Research International. Because B, ESP, is, it is almost related. It, it comes like that. Sometime even uh, giving you a full paper title and abstract, you can copy and paste it. You can find journal. So this thing will find you the related journal based on your title and abstract, then you can try you know, sending paper to that particular journal. But if this is how the MJ, uh, MJL, that is master journalist works, and one thing is commonly you can search the journal, another match manuscript is based on your manuscript, that is your research paper, you can search based on this thing, you can identify the which journal will be suitable for you to publish your paper also. Got it? So in in today I have in today's video I have told you about what is Web of Science, what is SEI, what are the differences between Scopus and SEI, and is there any difference between Thomson Writer, SEI, and the Web of Science? And the, you have clearly understood all are the same. But Web of Science is the website, SEI is the citation index which is published in the Web of Science journal, and Thomson Writer is Web of Science was owned by the Thomson Writer. Now it is part of Clarivate, that is MJ Clarivate Analytics. And if you want to search the Web of Science Journal, you have to come to the mjlclarivate.com. And you, there are two searches. One is searching journal. Another one is to search the, uh, you can match the manuscript uh, to check the which journal is suitable for you to publish it. Got it? So I guess this video definitely will, you know, will be useful to you. And if you like it, do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and share to your friends. Let them get benefited. I'll catch you in the some other interesting video soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.